let's see. What are we going to want to go ahead and do next? Hades dogs. Cerberus had been conducting illegal genetic research. Blah, blah, blah. Found Kahoku. And now we are the only one who can stop them. So where are we going next? Found the location. Head to... Uh, Nefirion in the Columbia system of the Voyager cluster and destroy it. Didn't we go to the Voyager cluster? Hold on, let me take a look at my notes. Yeah, we went to the Voyager cluster. I think, in fact, we're in the Voyager cluster right now. Um, yeah, so we can go to this uh, Columbia system here and uh, take that out. Sounds good to me. Take this mission to its uh, full fruition here. I appreciate uh, taking things all the way. Let's see if there's any other uh, things around here that we can do. Nope. Just wanted to double check. Off to the galaxy map we go. Yep, we are still in the Voyager cluster. That is Columbia. Ooh, got some rings. Don't see anything so far. I don't know. Let's see if I can find anything by doing this. Nope. Nope, so far. Alright, well, forget it. Let's see, there are four planets, it looks like. Clogia. Can't do anything with this one. It is a hothouse terrestrial world with a dense atmosphere of nitrogen and sulfur dioxide. The surface is scorching hot and mainly composed of iron with deposits of gold. The core of Clogia, or whatever, uh, is very hot and tectonically active. Volcanic eruptions are common and outgassing continues to add the uh, to the density of the atmosphere. The largest active volcano has a caldera nearly 100 kilometers in diameter and its basalt floods have covered an area roughly the size of the Earth continent of Australia. All right, Nefirion, wasn't this? I feel like this was mentioned, yeah, that's a landing spot. On to Heder. On to Heder is an unusually large ice world with a core of silicate rock and light metals and a trace atmosphere of krypton and xenon. The crust is mainly composed of water ice. Onto Heder's ice sheets show obvious signs of large-scale fracture and refreezing, centered on a massive crater near the South Pole. A recent extranet meme suggests that a Prothean ship crashed through the crust of the planet before the collapse of their empire and might still be recovered from the planetary core. This is purportedly the source of the planet's unusually high mass. Careful mapping of onto Heder's gravity field by orbiting satellites have proved that the planetary core is entirely normal. Well, let's survey anyway. We found a rare element. Awesome, it's a uh, samarium. Perfect. We should have one more planet. Where was it? This one? Gromar. Gromar is a rocky terrestrial world with a trace atmosphere of krypton and xenon. The frozen surface is mainly composed of copper with deposits of calcium. Prior to the Alliance's expansion into the Voyager cluster, Gromar hosted one half of the Turian Interferometric. Uh, Interferometric Telescope Array. 
connect it uh, with similar telescopes in the Attican Beta Cluster by a expensive chain of FTL convoys. The two functioned as a single virtual lens with an effective aperture equal to the thousands of light years between them. The Turians used this to chart the Terminus system with great accuracy. We found a medallion here. Scans of the planet Gromar revealed a derelict space station in late stages of orbital decay. A small team was able to recover some items of interest, among them a League of One medallion. By the way, I'm kind of curious to see how far we've gotten along with all that stuff. Let's see here, where is it? The fan, I should read the fan. Let's see here, we've been approached by Conrad Werner. He seemed like a harmless fan. Yeah, sure he did. What harm could there be in talking with him? There we go, Tyrion insignias. We have eight of 13, we're getting there. Valuable materials, we have eight of six gases. <laughs> we've definitely exceeded the gases there. We have not found even half of the heavy metals yet. A little bit over the half of the light and a little bit over half of the rare. Actually, mostly uh, all the way there. A little bit over uh, 75%. Let's see here. Locate signs of battle. We have found one Solarian tag and uh, four League medallions. I feel like we've found more than that. Prothean data disks. We've found five of seven so far. Sorry, writings. Four of ten. And then finding him is uh, something later. Rogue, what is that, six? Taking over Alliance training ground located on Earth's moon. Alliance needs us to eliminate the... Oh, I guess that's not six, that's a Rogue VI, so it's a virtual intelligence. And yeah, we'll deal with that later. All right, well, off to uh, fight Cerberus. May the three-headed dog go down at Nefirian. Nefirian is a barren volcanic terrestrial world with an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and krypton. Its surface is mainly composed of sodium with deposits of magnesium. Aside from displays of geological beauty, including many spectacular volcanoes, this barren world is of little interest. Entries relating to Nefirion in the astronomical database are sparse. Yeah, that's probably on purpose. Probably very much on purpose. Come, my team. We will hit the ground and destroy everything. This world looks uh, a little bit icy. Few snowflakes here and there. Looks like we've got something right on the edge of our map. Our very first uh, cluster of materials. Let's go take it. I really feel like we've gotten uh, way more materials than we actually have based on all the planets that we've been getting stuff from, but uh, I guess that's not true. All right, let's see. Looks like it's right over this cliff. There's thorium, I think. Couldn't quite read it as we were moving by it a little bit quickly. Yeah, thorium. In route. Ready whenever you are. I just want to survey the material, please. Thank you. Appreciate the money. All right, let's see here. So we've got an anomaly, we've got an underground facility, and we've got debris. Hmm. Well, let's go for the anomaly and possibly the debris first. Maybe we'll do the underground facility last. I don't know. It's kind of on the way. Get over, come on. Yeah. I thought we were gonna have to uh, mess with that. Damn it, car. <laughs> Straight, please. I know the ground is bumpy, but come on. Let 
Talk about crazy ass X games. This terrain is really difficult to uh, get over for sure. Don't let a few rocks stop you. Just go. Okay. Let's see. Where is it? There it is. Whatever it is. It's tiny. Super tiny. Oh. It is a body. A mummified solarian. Alright. It's an ID tag. This Cerberus soldier had an identification tag for Captain Varsynth, one of the Solarian soldiers responsible for capturing the League of One. It's unclear how he came into possession of this relic. Does that mean we've got uh, a new tag now? Where was that? Is it the insignias? Signs of battle. Yep, we now have two or three. Almost have them all. I wonder if there's uh, more than the three that can be found out in the universe. Not sure, but I guess we're going to head over here since it's uh, on our way. Looks like there is a lot of people standing around. It almost looks bigger than usual, so that might not be people. It might be like a tank or something. over there. No, it looks like people. Securing point. All right, my friends. I think we are all equipped with what we want to be equipped. That is a lot of people down there. I think that one has a sniper rifle. I can't tell about the rest. Let's get this. Back it up, back it up, Garrus is dead. I think we need to move back. Let's see here, uh... Can I do this from far away? Yeah, nice. Come back here, Garrus. Garrus! You idiot. Right here, Garrus. Come on. Get back. These guys are tough. Well, someone got someone. I don't know if it's uh, wise to go into this place considering just how powerful these guys are. I suppose they could have gotten a couple of lucky shots on us. I don't know. Seems dangerous, though. Someone's shooting. Whoa! That's a rocket. Maybe that's why uh, someone's dying really quickly. Where's Garrus at? Why is Garrus getting his ass killed? Well, blew up the box. Watch the rockets. Watch it. Tally, you should probably be moving a little bit. I don't even know where Garrus is right now. <laughs> Yay! 
Youch. I'm surprised that that didn't hurt me more than, uh, than it actually did. Garrus is like really far back. You know what, Garrus? That's probably a, that's probably a good idea right now. Go ahead and grab this. Whoa. Got you. Where's the rocket guy? There he is. Uh-oh. Can I not get back up here? Okay, I can. Sounds like Garrus is doing some damage down there. Alright, everyone. Let's pull back a bit. Heal up a bit. Get into our vehicle over here, and then we'll head down there, because I think the rocket guy is all that's left. And we can take him on up close. Because rockets are uh, fairly simple to dodge, for the most part. Uh, I don't know if we can walk up this, but we'll try. I don't want him sending rockets into my vehicle. You may be anti-tank, but that is not helpful against people up close like me. All right. We get any good levels out of that? No? Okay. Whatever. Let's see what kind of items we got. Some kind of pistol, a sniper rifle, ammo upgrade, grenade upgrade. I think these might... I don't know if I have sixes or fives, but we'll check them out. Pistol is good, but not quite as good as mine. I'll give it to Tally, though, because she needs a new one. She will definitely benefit from that. What else do we get? A sniper rifle? Yeah, it's not that great. Um, and then we got fusion explosive. That's actually a little bit above um, what we had, so that's kind of cool. But do I want the incendiary or the fusion? Hmm. I don't know. I think I'm going to keep the fire for now. And then what else did we get? We got uh, some rounds, I think. I think it might have been incendiary. That's pretty cool. Might want to use those on something. What does my shotgun have currently? Polonium rounds. Hmm. I'll keep that. Let's check out tallies. She has hammerhead rounds currently. Let's give her some incendiary rounds. What's this? 14 damage, less rate of fire, less heat absorption. Um, yeah, I'll leave that. All right, well, I think we are good to go inside and see what's going on. Quick save here, and in we go. Tally could probably use some health, but I'm gonna wait on it for a bit. All right, guys, stay frosty. Medical interface and high explosive, nice. Speaking of a medical interface, I can just put that on Tally real quick. She's got a shield battery on right now. Yeah, just go ahead and take that. She can at least heal up while I'm looking around the room. Nothing. <laughs> 